Hey there, Smartest Artists. So glad to see you guys virtually again in our virtual art room. I hope you guys are doing well, and I really, really, really miss you in the art room. Okay, last week we had Rockstar Robots. So this week I'm going to give you three different options of three different kind of cool projects you can do. No pressure, you don't have to do all three of them. You could just do one and you can take your time and just be as creative as you want. Doesn't have to look exactly like mine. I got my idea from Cassie Stevens. She's a great art teacher out of Nashville. So um, she's full of great ideas. So I love being able to share these fun project activities with you guys. Okay, so this week our theme is going to be mad scientists in the art room, okay? We're gonna be doing a little experimenting with color. We're going to be focusing on the vocabulary word of line, which you guys are familiar with. We're going to throw in some shape, which we talked about last week with our Rockstar Robots. Um, we're going to add a little color this week, and um, then we're also going to talk about value and shading, and that's what these little grids are up here, and I'll talk a little bit about that later. But first of all, let's draw our mad scientist selfies, okay? And again, your scientists can look just like you. Um, these are not going to be realistic portraits. They're going to be kind of fun and cartoonish, and we'll be able to uh, create a background as well, and I'll give you some ideas. But again, this is your drawing, so you can make it look however you want, okay? So we're going to start out with some basic shape. And remember those five types of line. Remember, vertical, horizontal, zigzag, curvy, and diagonal. We'll be using all of those lines in our drawing today. Okay, all right, so we're starting out with some shape, which is an oval for the face. Okay, so I'm gonna do two different drawings over here. Again, you can make your drawing look however you like, okay? So, going to start with my oval face here and my oval face here. Okay, all right, then I'm gonna draw the body of the scientist. So you can add a little neck if you want to, that's fine. Um, and kind of come down, do the arms. This is gonna be the jacket later on, or you can just do something really simple like this. Okay, all right, so going to go ahead and start with the eyes and the glasses, because you know all mad scientists wear glasses. Now again, yours doesn't have to, but I'm gonna put glasses on both of mine. Okay, so gonna start out adding the shape of a circle. Okay, doing another shape of a circle over here. And I'm going to double my circles for the glasses frames. Okay, making a little bit of a bridge for the nose and the eye pieces, okay? Same thing over here. You'll be able to see that other one a little bit better in just a minute. Doing the bridge right here and the little glasses frames. Okay, on that one I didn't really have enough room to do that one. Okay, so I'm gonna match up my little ears right here, okay? He's gonna have a little bit bigger ears. And now I'm gonna do another shape for the nose, which is gonna be an oval shape. Now your nose can look however you want, but I'll kind of mix it up on both of these to give you two different options. Okay, so gonna do a little cute oval nose here, and maybe just do a little bump here, and you can do the sides of the noses there. Again, they can look however you want, okay? Let's put in some eyes, which is another shape of a circle, and I'm gonna do a little white spot and color in right here. And on this one, I'm gonna add some little eyelashes, add some little curvy lines here for the eyelashes, okay? And on our other scientist, gonna change the direction of the white spot. and gonna have them like that. I know it's a little bit more difficult to see on, on this one. Okay, so now let's add some eyebrows to our scientists. So this one, just gonna keep them pretty standard right here. 
And then this one is our mad scientist. So his eyebrows are gonna be a little out of control, okay? Gonna add some zigzag lines in. Okay, and now time to put in a mouth. Okay, so we've got a super smart, happy scientist over here. So gonna have her smiling and gonna quickly color that in. And over here, we've got to have our zany mustache, which is again, zigzag lines right here and a fun smiley face over here. Okay, now both of our scientists have got to be in fashion. So let's add a little decoration, okay? So we can add a little collar right here and some buttons and a little pocket square to keep a pencil in. Okay, and over here we can add a big pocket square to keep lots of utensils like a magnifying glass and a pen for all that scientific research. Adding some buttons, and there you have it. So, now let's add some hair, and those hairstyles can be any way that you like. I'm going to do a crazy zigzag line hairstyle over here on our mad scientist. So I'm kind of starting at the ears, There we go, his hair is out of control because he's electrifying. And now over here, gonna add some bangs right here for some curvy lines. And scientist, I think they wear a bun. So I'm gonna put a bun on top of her head, add a little hair bow for some style, and then bring the hair down to here. Okay, so our scientists are looking pretty cool and pretty smart, okay? And now let's focus on a background. Now you can color these in, be as festive as you would like with your colors. They're your drawings. Crayons, markers, colored pencils are totally fine. If you don't have any of those, that's okay. You can just do paper and pencil. And if you've got watercolors, you can also try that too at home. So think about some things that scientists work with every day. Maybe they have safety goggles. You might wanna add some safety goggles in the background. Or they're always experimenting. So you can add some scientific experiments going on in the background, okay? Add some curvy lines and some little bubbles, maybe some stuff coming out, okay? Um, really, it's up to you guys. Um, you can add some explosions, because maybe that was a science experiment gone wrong. Every good scientist always needs a pencil. to write down all their important research with. So really guys, you can have as much fun as you like with your drawings and just keep creating. It may take you several times to get one that you really like, but that's okay. It's totally okay to make mistakes. It's totally okay to mess up. Remember, we're just here to learn and have fun. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up some of my materials, okay? And we're gonna talk about value and shading, okay? So again, just coloring nice and neat with your markers is totally fine and it adds some really cool fun things to your drawing maybe you want to give some green fun glasses to your scientist girl maybe she looks totally different than this so again have fun color in be as neat as you can stay in the lines and take your time okay so when we talk about value and shading it's dark to light. So I've got a color pencil for this exercise. Really colored pencils and crayons work the best. So um, up here I have what's called a value grid or a value scale, and it's how hard you color in. So this 
is the darkest, which means I'm applying the most pressure right here to this square. And I'm not gonna color in the entire square for time's sake. But as you go down, the next one is still pretty dark, but I'm lightening the pressure as I go. Um, this really helps your drawings look realistic. Um, and of course, the lightest one will be at the very end. So it goes dark to light according to the pressure that you put on your pencil. So this will make your drawings, if you're using crayons or colored pencils, maybe in the hair, this area may be really light, but as you get to the hairline, it may be really dark, okay? So it kind of adds some really nice shading to your drawing and makes it look a little bit more realistic. Okay guys, so that's our drawing project for the week. The next video I'm going to put up is actually print making, okay? So the materials you're going to need for that are sidewalk chalk, water, and a piece of paper. And we're going to do some really cool prints that you could use for the background of your mad scientist or you could just use for some really cool drawings this week. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I really miss you guys. Hang in there, email me or Google Classroom message me once this is posted if you have any questions on what to do. Okay, Miss T loves you guys and I will see you really soon, hopefully. See ya, mad scientist.